Hello and welcome back to Laura Fenn Gaming Plays Neverwinter. I'm your host, Laura Fenn. In this Neverwinter video guide, I show you all how to do the event of the Winter Festival of Simroll for the year 2021. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be updated and more. Now, this event will go on from December 16th to January 6th, so you got about 21 days to do this. I'm going to show you the introduction NPCs. Show you some uh, things I haven't shown this year and a little bit of the refresher course from last year. So first thing you need to do is talk to this NPC to learn the basics before going to the festival zone. Our winter festival celebrates Simru, the holiday of the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. Folks stay out under the stars all night, searching the heavens for good omens and the stars of their birth. While Simril is celebrated all across the world, this year our town of Twilight Tor is extending our festivities and wish to invite the people of Neverwinter to join us. There will be contests and racing, fishing and stargazing, prizes and rewards for all. Collect lights of Simril during your stay in Twilight Tor to purchase warm winter scarves dazzling winter weapons, and more. Try your hand at ice fishing, or join a race in a fabulous winter sled. Come by every day for special activities and unique rewards available only during this wondrous festival. Come and join us for fun beneath the starry sky. This year's Winter Festival is being held in the town of Twilight Tor. Thanks to the munificence of Lord Never Emperor, getting there is easy. Use any of the city gates. Select the icon for the Winter Festival in the hills due east of Neverwinter on the map. Remember, you can join us at the Winter Festival every day to enjoy activities, find new omens from the stars, and earn special rewards only available at this time of year. So come by our festival every day and may all of your stars be lucky ones. Just like every other year, the Festival Zone is its own special zone. Great news is anyone can go through it. There might be a few changes, so let's uh, go ahead and get there now. There we go. If you are doing this first time, definitely go to this NPC and get all your dailies. Get every single one, plus listen to the history of Simrol. So let's do that now. I hope you're enjoying our Festival of Simrol this year. Is there any way I can help? I can answer just about any question you have. What would you like to know? The Winter Festival celebrates Simril, the festival of the winter solstice and the longest night of the year. But Simril is no grim observance of darkness. It is a festival about surviving the winter. So instead of fearing the longest and coldest night, we make it a time of celebration. By roaring bonfires, we feast on roasted meat and drink sweet winter wine. Instead of huddling against the cold, we stare out into the darkness, looking not for shadows, but instead gazing up at the stars to find omens of good fortune for the coming year. Our village of Twilight Tor has always been blessed with crystal clear night skies, which in ancient times drew Uthgard priests and Ilifarn astrologers. Now that the lights of Simril have appeared, folk are coming from all across the Sword Coast once more. With the help of Lord Neverember, we've expanded our festival and welcomed travelers from all around to join us for the Simril holiday. And this year is special in another way, as we open our gates to refugees from the recent trouble in the Underdark. These poor souls have been forced from their homes by the terrible demonic uprising. And we welcome them to our festival and to our town at this special time. 
With all the people who've come to our town, we've added some fun activities and events to our festival this year. We've set up a slalom course, which runs down the mountain and around the lake. You can try the twilight run, as we call it, at any time. Then race down the course as often as you can during the contest for the highest total score to win prizes. Glorfindar Lake is always bountiful, even in the depth of winter. And we've got ice fishing spots ready for those who wish to try their luck and harvest the water's bounty. On a darker note, demons have taken over part of the lake. Perhaps looking for the lights of Simru, or possibly seeking something brought here by the refugees from the Undertow. We need the aid of doughty adventurers like yourself to fight them off and protect our town. As you can see, there is much to do at the festival this year, and we may even add a few surprises as the event continues. Each of the festival's special events offers unique rewards. The Winter Festival of Simrul is here, promising long and starry nights. To help people stay up as they watch the heavens, we've created a number of exciting activities for you to do. Slalom down the mountain in the twilight run, go ice fishing on Lake Glorfindar, and defend our town. You can do all of these things at any time, and once a day, you can take this mission for extra rewards. Welcome back, adventurer. I'm overjoyed to have you with us for another night of festivities. Doubtless you are eager to return to merrymaking, ale drinking, and stargazing. But before you do, don't forget to speak with the gift master. She's sure to have prepared another complimentary parcel for you. During Simril, the heavens become entwined with the fate of mortals as the solstice draws near. And it is said one can see omens of the future by watching the stars. So, every night of the festival, we make our grand telescope available to all, so each can try to see what the future holds. Won't you give it a try? Simril brings gifts for all this year. Welcome back, friend. I see you don't miss a beat. You're just in time for your daily gift, if I recall correctly. Let's see here. Ah, here you are. Your voucher for a free gift. Enjoy the festival. And don't forget to release your gift of Simrul with your friends. That special NPC I just talked to, that's mainly for friends and more, and plus you have to visit every day, which is great. Now next part, go ahead and check out this telescope once a day. The stars hold many portents, and during Simrul, they are revealed. The stars can reveal much about a person's fate, and during Simrul, the fortunes I prepare have a chance to be far more than mere prognostications. Your fortune is now ready. Open it, and find out what fate may have in store for you. As for the telescope, definitely visit once a day, and then turn it into the NPC next to it. I forgot to mention from the female uh, NPC, you get a nice uh, ticket, I believe, each day or so. Just uh, go ahead and just uh, click this one. You get a Starlight Parcel for free, I believe. And then once you use it, well, you might get some good, you might not. So it's random. So let's uh, go ahead and demonstrate that now. And voila, look at that. We actually got a gift of Simrol. Gift of Simrol is uh, good for a few reasons. You group with someone, you use it, then they uh, benefit from it. Which is really good. I also uh, remember the female NPC does have a quest for that too. If you have a whole bunch of friends or in a nice uh, guild. So for the next part is the fishing quest. The fishing quest is like this exactly. You uh, learn how to fish. Also the mechanics. It's like a little tutorial. You definitely want to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and try to find it. You see these fishing barrels? That's for uh, one of those type of events like a contest. You want to do that too if you're really good at fishing. It's a good night for fishing, don't you think?
Welcome, traveler, to Lake Glorfindar, which means the Lake of Fair Fortune in the common tongue. Our lake is teeming with all manner of fish, from brown bream to the rare candlefish. We're happy to share the wealth of our lake, even when it's frozen over. We've cut holes in the ice for ice fishing. You'll need a fishing pole to start, and then you can fish at any open hole in the ice. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you all how to fish. So simply, once you get the quest, you need to do is go into useful items. So that's the big key on the PC version, console version. Just probably uh, use these tab uh, we call the buttons to get to it. And while uh, I did was I swapped out one of my potions for a fishing rod. So you need to do is just cast, and then uh, make sure you land in the water. If not, you have to do it again. Great news is you can do as many times as you want. Now, if you're doing the contest. Great idea to aim for the fours. It's usually random. Sometimes if you get good fishing bait, you'll uh, actually uh, get the threes and fours. So I'm going to go ahead and fish right now. I just use the tab key to toss. And then I have to do is wait until it bites. Once it bites, you have to do is just hit the uh, button that highlights it. It's not that hard. So this is just like a little bit waiting game. So there it is. Highlight it. Now you have to play a uh, mini game. Uh, on the PC version, it is W, E, and I believe Q you have to uh, do this correct so when it's highlighted hit that button I'm gonna be honest I did uh, watch uh, the console version of fishing a lot more easier than the PC version yeah it's one of those rare moments but still keep on timing the right buttons so this way you can get your daily done or if you're seriously uh, fishing during the uh, contest catch a whole bunch of good fish and you want to make sure you fill that bar all the way through once you do hit the uh, one button on the PC or whatever uh, button it is on the consoles. There we go. We have caught the fish. So we're uh, done with that party event for the day. Like, so we're going to turn this in now. And report into this guy. Tell him the wonderful news. Hey we caught a fish. And we got some silver. It's not much. But still you uh, definitely want to do it. Now for the next part we're doing the monsters. Uh, I, did, I did this last year. I was way too weak. Great news is since the uh, level squish. The item level is actually 35k. Uh, and of course, if you're not 35k, since I am 33k, you get bumped up to it. Now, here's a word of caution about fighting in the ice. You'll slip around. If you have any abilities that will make you jump around, abuse it. So uh, this way you can uh, seat yourself very nicely. And if you need help, just go ahead and uh, have some players help you out. I believe as long as uh, everybody gets a hit on it, they uh, definitely get the kill. If not, just uh, keep on doing it. Just uh, be really careful on monsters that are in groups that are sometimes bunched together. Yeah, it happened to me on this one. You'll see why. Still, you're going to need a total of 10 per uh, day. It's not that bad. And if you want to do the contest, great idea to do so. It's very beneficial. Even if you do not win, you get this uh, special currency. For a special item you can buy later on. I will show you in the video. So I'm uh, fighting my uh, way through. And yeah. I'm in a little bit of uh, trouble. Rare moment. But still. I'm going to go ahead and try to survive. Yeah. See I'm going to run and uh, get away. While I'm trying to wait for my potion. And voila. And let me use the uh, jump uh, skill. And there you go. Let me kill these two. And that should do it. And that is 10. So for the next one is the twilight run. Yeah. That is like the... Uh, sled event which is a fun one so in order to get to it get out of the way and yeah if you see those uh, light things on the ground pick them up they're like free healing which is really good so we're gonna get to the twilight race and I'll tell everybody about the basics then show you all the racing part so we're gonna do the uh, last event for the daily and I should say it's this way it's very easy to uh, get to uh, I'm gonna probably say as I heard uh, people say sleds are the best uh, we call vehicles to use and also the broom from last year I'm using my uh, bird so when you uh, start the race it's uh, real simple just uh, go ahead and just try to aim for the we call it markers like this and if you see the arrows that's like your speed it can get really difficult at times so just time everything and uh, if it's your first time doing it just try to get much as you uh, can nobody's uh, perfect so I'm gonna let this whole entire race run and I'll return after the uh, results are over.
all three activities are done, it is time to turn in the daily. You want to do this daily each and every day during the event. I hope you're enjoying our Festival of Simril this year. Is there any way I can help? I hope you've enjoyed the festivities tonight. Feel free to continue the celebration and win more rewards. You can also return tomorrow for another night of revelry under the starry sky. Refugees from the Underdog have been arriving thick and fast in recent weeks. Naturally, given the spirit of the festival, we've done everything we can to accommodate them. Thankfully, many are merchants and artisans. In my experience, the quickest to lay down old prejudices. In fact, a blacksmith named Darek, a Durgar, if you'll believe it, is looking for some help with a venture for the festival. If you can spare a moment during the celebration, You'll find him at the Dwarven Ruins, on top of the hill, over there. Now, before we actually uh, do this other quest we just uh, got, I'm going to show you the shops. This is your basically potion and other supply shops, including injury kits too. Now, uh, this next shop I'm about to show you all, once again, is the uh, star shop. You usually get about, I believe, a, a, once a day a star. Or if you decide to go ahead and go into the Zen Market, get those stars too. And yeah, it's the same as last year. You need 18 of them to get that nice broom. If you want to save up, go ahead and uh, do so. I'm just going to show you what's there. Then the uh, next shop is the uh, the uh, light ones. Yeah, they're like the uh, blue ones. Or I should say blue and white. This is uh, currency for it. Now, uh, when you first come here during the festival, if you're new to it, uh, go ahead and buy the... Uh, Fanti item, I should say, uh, cosmetics. If you want to, already did. I'm just show you anyways. Also, you get some other things too. And great news, looks like uh, it carried over from last year. So if you worry about that, wonderful uh, news. You get to actually uh, save up what you need. Also, uh, cosmetic weapons are uh, there too if you're interested. So if you like uh, winter-looking weapons, that is it. And uh, that's the same NPC already uh, visit. So our uh, next stop is to the uh, Grey Dwarf. Once I am uh, done turning it in, I'll tell everybody on how to uh, get that special currency, too. I'm just making a nice sweep before actually uh, getting there. All right, nothing else there. It's very simple to uh, get to, so we're going to just uh, head there uh, now. And unfortunately, I cannot use that. I already had it from last year. So, to the Grey Dwarf, turn this in, and he'll uh, give you uh, information about the special currency and tell you what zones you could definitely hit. I'm going to give everybody some secret advice, though, on which is the uh, best route to actually go for. Now, this lead needs uh, item level uh, 21k, which is easy to do. You're certainly no refugee. Are you here on behalf of the mayor to help with me little venture? These revelers go on and on about slalom this, slalom that, but can't be arsed to build a proper sled. I escaped with enough gold to buy myself this puny dwarven forge and build this here demon sled. Beauty, ain't she? Almost done with her, too. Just need a wee bit of black lead to finish her runners. That's where you come in. Black lead's common in the Underdark. If you happen to make your way down there, or you run into demons outside town carrying the stuff, bring it back here. When she's finished, she's yours. Just promise you'll race her down that track and show up those fool dwarves. I'm going to go ahead and show you on how to uh, get the black lid. It's uh, simple. The Well of Dragons does have heroics there, and there are uh, demons. If you're really lucky, or from time to time, you can actually get a whole bunch of them if you get either silver or gold. And if you get beyond gold, you get another encounter too, which is nice. Now, another one too I heard is Demogorgon, since that got bumped up to a uh, 40k uh, item level. And if you're that, pretty good chance to get a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to probably say is do that. And yeah, while I was uh, helping people out, that uh, Monster Hunt event was done, and I got some of that special currency too, some uh, black lead. You need 200 of them to get that demon sled. It's a pretty good item, it looks like, for the uh, tw min uh, Twilight Run. So, I'm going to go ahead and give everybody some final advice before I do go. Come back here each and every day, do all your dailies, even the non-combat ones are very simple. 
Now, as for the monster hunt, just watch out for the ice. If you need help, just run to a player. Nine out of ten times, they'll help you out. They're doing the same thing as you are uh, doing. As for fishing, uh, just practice on the mini game. You'll master it. The sled run, if you're uh, good at it, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, just uh, just get to the finish line. That's all you need to uh, do. As for farming some black lead, I'll probably say it's the Well of Dragons hunting down demon heroics. There's three of them, and if you get to silver or gold, you have a great shot at getting more of those. Other than that, have fun during this festival. Well, everyone, this is it from my Never Winter, the Winter Festival Simroll Event Video Guide for 2021. This is Laura Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.